Good morning, VHS. Today is February 18, 2022. Artful ice shanties are making a comeback. At the Retreat Farm, you can enjoy this outdoor event and see the beautiful art made on the ice shanties this Saturday evening. On February 26th, there will be the Winter's Farmer Market in the church building on 80th Platt Street in Brattleboro. You can buy some local food, some crafts, and trinkets. And now with a special from Darian and Michaela with some difficult words. Hi. Wait. Hello. So. Today, we're going to be looking at some hard words and seeing Some big he, hard words. Some big hard words. And seeing if Darian knows how to pronounce them. Which I most likely will be able to because I'm very smart. All right. Starting with this first word. Okay. You are. Quino, quin, quin, quinoa. I knew this one because my mom used to force me to eat this. Wow. That is very good. My mom also made me eat that. Yes. It is quinoa. That is oh. one point for you. One point. Let's see. Next word. Okay, I know this is from that, that movie with like Nemo in it, and you didn't know how to say it, but I also don't know how to say it. <laughs> and then I'm, 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 okay. Oh, ooh, anemone. I think that's pretty close. It's anem money. Yeah. That's what so Nemo lived go. in. That's what Nemo lives in. There we go. That was pretty good. Alrighty. You couldn't say it either. No, I mean, I, I really couldn't. This one's a hard one. Ignomia, ig, ig, ignominious. I, I bet you I can tell what this means. Um, it means, um, ignomin, ignominious. Is that like a Pokemon? Um, something like that, I think. Okay. Let's see, and it's pronounced ignomious. Ignomious. Yeah, that's the same thing that Ignomious. I said. Yeah. That's what I so, said. There you go. That is pretty good. That sounds like a Pokemon. Boom. Let's see. Next word. Mm. Here. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. There we go. Yeah, because my, my English, English teacher, teacher yelled at me when I said it wrong. Hyperbole. And ever since that day, I've said it right. Well, it'd be like that. Boom. That's a good one. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Iridociclitics. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. That is going to be iridocyclitis. <laughs> um, but good try. Next. And the last one. Let's see. Let us see. Epitomy. Uh. What did you say? Epitomy. Um. No. Oh. It's epitome. Oh, I've heard that before. But Anyways. Um. Good job. Thank you. You did pretty well, you know, for the most part. I did pretty, words pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty well. That's pretty been good. some big hard words of Michaela and Darian. Thank you. The Brattleboro Winter Carnival will be held at Living Memorial Park this Saturday, February 19th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. They will be offering snowmobile rides, $1 skating, $5 skiing, and more. On February 19th at 8 p.m., there's a jazz show by Joel Ross at the Vermont Jazz Center. Tickets cost $20 to $40 depending on where you are sitting. The Harris Hill Ski Jump is celebrating its 100th anniversary this weekend. Unfortunately, due to the warm weather tonight, festivities have been canceled, but will resume on Saturday. Be sure to go check it out. Let's listen to some word, world news with Lebedis. Hello, this is World News with Lebedis, and we've got a rather sad story today. Uh, this just in, uh, America's national board is more at risk than previously believed, with nearly half of bald eagles tested across the USA showing signs of chronic lead poisoning from fishing tackle and ammunition and much more. I mean, this is really sad, guys. Uh, Very sad. Sad news. I mean, I think, I think this is going to be a, 
what pushes us to, uh, I don't know, work on the environment more and, you know, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Tai Chi is an internal Chinese martial art practice for defense training, health benefits, and meditation. These classes are taught by Lee Ganesser, certified by Tai Chi Vermont, Inc. Suggested donations are $2 per class. Classes are on Monday at 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. The February edition of The Beacon, our school newspaper, is out now. Pick up your copy in the library or check out the digital edition, which has been emailed to you. Head down to the Whetstone every Tuesday in the tap room for some classic pub trivia. With a modern twist, one team per table and one mobile device with an internet connection is required as you will be submitting your answers on a device. Play for prizes now for some sunny, now for some funny news with Avery. This week in funny news, Idaho, the magical land of potatoes, has just released a limited edition potato scented perfume. They went for one eighty one eighty nine a bottle, which is a total steal. And they sold out in minutes. What do you think, guys? Would you wear a potato I, perfume? I thought you meant like hundred and eighty nine. No, one dollar eighty nine cents. I mean you already smell like a potato, so I don't think you need it. <laughs> Just you smell way worse than a potato. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh you want to go there? You smell like a carrot. You smell like KFC, bro. You smell like fries, bro. Actually, that's I'll take a that. I'll that's take a that. Compliment. Thank just you. Just open Thank that you. lace bag chips and just air it out on you. Yeah, there's, no, <laughs> there's, every morning. there's no need. Lace chips on my head every morning. Exactly. Yeah, but like, would you want to get called greasy? Yes. <laughs> you like Avery. that? No, 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 no. Avery is I've... greasy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Back to the announcements. On Saturday, February 19, 2022, to February 23rd, there will be a Nimble Arts Workshop teaching Introduction to Aerials. The workshop will be held at Cotton Mill Hill Studios, 74 Cotton Mill Hill, Brattleboro, Vermont. Thanks for listening, VHS. <laughs> <laughs>